What it do? This is your brother Bishop of Bishop Zone TV, and today <laughs> I got some inspiration today. I really did. I got I got inspired by a random YouTube comment that responded to one of my comments, and in that comment, there was a young lady by the name of Ashley. It was just simply Ash Lee, and on the surface. She looks black. She looks African American, as they say. But what do you know? She's not black. She doesn't have any African descent. What I found out today is that she specifically is a descendant of Calithians. And I had never heard of these people. Who the hell are the Calithians. Yes, Calithians. <laughs> and in doing some research, I stumbled upon the woman that you see right here. She goes by the name of Chickasaw Rising. I call it Niggasaw Rising. And yes, it is a, it is a pretendian. You know what pretendians look like by now. And so as I watched her video, which I'm going to play her video and I'm going to break it down. I said, wow, I just, I just got to make a, I got to make an episode about this. This, this is fascinating stuff right here. So let's learn a little bit about the Calipians. This wonderful, this uh, great storied nation. Because apparently we were already here. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's break it down. Peace, love, and light to you all. It's your girl, Adai, coming to you here live in a living color with Zion today with another important topic and video. Um, I just want to start out by saying peace and love to all of you out there. I hope every one day goes well today, and that they accomplish all that they need to accomplish today, and that everything goes well for everybody. But I want to get right into this. Um, I'm definitely excited about it. Um, being that it's Black History Month, I definitely want to um, incorporate some facts and learning about our history and our culture and who we are, um, which are, you know, we are a beautiful people, we're strong-willed people, and we have a history, um, even though it's been a great, huge um, um, conspiracy to blot out our identity by the Europeans coming here. Uh, to both North and South America uh, to take over, uh, like they're going to other countries today to take over. But anyway, I'm going to talk about the Black Aboriginal Califians um, of California. They were and are, we, there's still descendants of them here, still alive here today, um, were awesome. All right, really? She, she used the Photoshop picture? She starts off with a Photoshop picture, y'all. Look at that. Pixelized like crazy. And that's what you start off with. We talking facts here. You start off with a Photoshop of uh, Tyrone in the Indian garb and feathers and shit. Okay, okay. All right, let, let, let's let her continue. Some powerful nation of people who thrived and had a kingdom uh, within the state of California going all the way down uh, to Mexico. Um, and these were a quote unquote black people. They were the indigenous people that were here prior to Christopher Columbus, prior to uh, the Spaniards, then just the imperialistic regimes that came to the, um, you know, to the Americas to take over, to kill and destroy us as a people. Now, we all know uh, we have Europeans, historians or whatever with their PhDs, you know, they convert and say the lie of all lies that they brought civilization to America, to the quote unquote Indians or people that were here, they're saying that they brought civilization to America. Well, by the end of this video, you'll know that that is indeed a lie. And if you don't know it's a lie, definitely do your research about um, the ancient people, uh, uh, the ancient black people of California, the Califians. Um, you know, when the settlers arrived here, uh, in the Americas in the, mm, I say 14, 1490, uh, 1400s, uh, somewhere in there. Um, it could be before that, that they arrived, but you know, who knows they mess with history so much, but, um, they came here 
and pretty much tried to take over the land and the resources just like they're doing today to all these other countries and there were a people that were already here black people have always lived and been in america this is our homeland uh, we are indigenous to this land uh, we were here first and if anybody wants to combat me i don't care i'm sticking to what i know and what the fathers revealed to me all right did y'all hear that did y'all hear that she said she don't care she don't care if you try to come at her and combat that information she's just going off what her fathers told her whoever these fathers are who are the fathers huh she's she's telling people to do their research and if people do their research that is opposite of her beliefs well she doesn't care she doesn't invite criticism she doesn't invite different opinions to her argument i just found that interesting there were black people that were already here before the quote unquote five dollar indian arrived okay we were here before the mongolian asiatic people came across on the barren strait thousands of years ago black people were already here and we've always been the majority we've never been the minority but if you can get into somebody's head to make them think that they are a minority, you're gonna have them act like they are a minority. But with knowledge, there is power. And we're gonna talk about this awesome kingdom of the Caliphians of California. Now, they had a great dynasty, um, you know, with a lot of their infrastructure that they had. Um, they were a great, uh, like, awesome kingdom. They had, uh, military war tactics and um, stood their ground against the Europeans um, when they came uh, to, to, the, to, to, to California and Mexico for the gold. Um, a lot of the annihilation and slaughter occurred during that time period in the mid 18, uh, 1800s, around, around the 1850s, where the gold rush was in and they came to California and took our gold took the fields of gold that they found and um, you know pretty much destroyed everything um, like they always uh, have been doing and you know it's a huge okay hold the phone hold the phone wait a minute sister earlier you said the Europeans arrived in the 1400s that's when they encountered these Calipians now you're saying well they dismantled the Calipians in the 1850s during the gold rush well i hate to bust your bubble but by the time the white men into california in the 1850s the ones you're talking about because of the gold rush those were considered americans so you're getting your people confused you're getting it conflated but i get it i understand i mean again we're breaking down a pretendian a nigga saw and, and by the way, sister, I'm not coming at you. I'm not disrespecting you. You might be a nice lady. No offense. But if you're going to present something as facts, could you please learn to articulate your point a little bit better, a little bit more professional? Because it's a lot of, uh, uh, yeah, and, um, and, uh, 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 like, like, you know, I mean, it doesn't make you look credible if you interject all those uhs and likes in your argument you know i'm just saying let's carry on huge scam and a conspiracy um that um you know the powers that be have done a incredibly good job in erasing our history and erasing our identity we are waking up we are uh waking up to the knowledge of who we are and there's nothing that can stop us and they won't stop us because we will wake up and we are waking up with uh, what we are um, um, learning here. Um, the first settlers that came here, they took, okay, black people prisoner, okay? Don't get the whole slavery thing, like the whole, you know, slavery aspect did indeed happen within America, but first they had us as prisoners. We are still prisoners in our own land in the words of Martin Luther King you know and a lot of people don't understand that and there's such a huge cover up of who quote unquote black people are 
You know, we know people on the face of the planet have been changed. Racial ethnicities have been changed like black people. First, we were Negro. Then we were uh, black. Then we were Afro-American. Um, then now we're African-American. Colored. I mean, which is it? There is a- Exactly. That's what I'm trying to figure out, sister. Which one is it? Is it indigenous people? Is it aborigines? Is it black people? Is it African Americans? Is it Hebrew Israelites? Which one is it? Because I'm having a hard time keeping up with all these new goddamn titles myself. <laughs> Ain't that ironic? And, and by the way, what does this have to do with the damn kingdom of Caliphians? I want to know about this great kingdom. One of the most um, prolific kingdoms this nation has ever seen, this territory has ever seen. What about them? Let's focus on that. That's what a lot of these pretendians tend to do. They don't focus on one thing. They start babbling about some other things. They put a little bit of truth into their arguments and deflect away from the actual argument, which is black people are the real indigenous people. So they claim. Let's see if she get back on track huge agenda there was a huge agenda there is still a huge agenda to hide the the true identity of the quote-unquote black man and black woman in this country and that is because we are a royal people from the royal bloodline of the most high we are his chosen children and he indeed will restore order and we will be helping him restore order as well Uh oh shit the most high the most high his chosen few, his chosen people. Okay, see, I, I, I know where they're going. See, she she's conflating this Hebrew Israelite shit with this indigenous shit. You know, a lot of these people are just bouncing from um, one religion to another. That's all it is. It's just one religion to another. That's all. Dick to dick, like I've said before. They were not indigenous people 10 years ago. They were probably Hebrew Israelites, and before that, they were probably Kimites and some shit. Who knows? Let's just go. Um, in, in essence of them taking a lot of our ancestors prisoners these white people when they arrived on the shores in the 1400s, 1300s, they didn't even know how to farm, most of them died a lot of them died when they got here because they didn't know how to farm, they didn't know how to keep um, you know they didn't even know how to do anything and would keep our ancestors captive to show them how to farm you know, because they didn't know anything about farming. They didn't even know anything about architecture. They didn't know anything about mathematics. They didn't know anything about, um, you know, culture, art, relevance. They didn't know anything like that. You have these demonic people with their religion come to all these different parts of the world, North America and South America, uh, you know, giving us their crap and we're still suffering for it because we're still hanging on to this Christianity. We need not do that. We need to let it go. But, um, you know, they came here, forced us to, you know, help them learn how to farm and things like that. Um, you know, it's just a huge, huge, horrific thing that happened. And, you know, we have a lot of individuals out there who, you know, talk about, Oh, the such and such Holocaust, the Japanese, people died and all that stuff. Yeah, we know that, you know, all of that happened and we're not insensitive to that. But when it comes to black people uh, standing up for what they believe in and we're going over their history and that we're not to forget of what happened to us. Okay. When the white people came to this country, they destroyed everything and they're still destroying everything. So, you know, so be it. And they've done a crafty job of covering up who we are as the aboriginal indigenous people of this land and you know it's 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 all coming out all the truth is coming out um you know and a lot of the pictures i want you guys to go ahead and look up the pictures of the ancient caliphians and the first indigenous people of america google this look this up for yourself they were black people the original uh, Statue of Liberty that was given from France to the United States was a black woman. All right, let me correct this sister real quick because number one, that myth about 
the original Statue of Liberty being black, I'm sorry, y'all, but it's, it's, it's false. It's not true. I used to believe that, too, until I did research. I Googled it, like she said. But I want to break down what she's actually talking about, where she got this information from. So if you look at this picture right here, this is from a website called um, yourweb.com. It's E-U-R-Web.com. And in this article that's um, quite old, they talk about the California Native American identity. And if you read right here, it says the original indigenous inhabitants of California were the descendants of West Africa, South America's Omex, Xi Empire, and 1500 to 400 BCE, Egypt, Asia, and the Pacific Islands, creating a mixed cultural nation that thrived for thousands, four years in peace. They said four years. These, these fools had a damn typo. I can't trust the information if they don't even know how to write damn paragraphs but it's just a small word but this is where she got her information from now again what does this have to do with the empire what does the statue of liberty have to do with the goddamn empire of the Caliphians? i'm trying to find out what was the Wiz Caliphians. who were they you can post cartoons all you want to. You can post illustrations. But prove to me that this great empire actually existed. And by the way, if you go to their website, which I might provide a link in the description, they don't they don't speak on the community either. They don't speak on the, the this great empire. They post up several different pictures that have nothing to do with this specific empire. By the way, these pictures are from the... Um, early 1900s late 1800s so that doesn't even even match with what she's talking about if if her people the Galifians, were destroyed during the gold rush by the 1800s then where are all these pictures coming from that they're telling us to google who are these people okay let's just go back to her her babbling she was a black woman she she was a black woman this sculpture, this awesome sculpture of this beautiful woman, um, you know, she was a black woman, but the U.S., the United States didn't want that. They didn't want that. They wanted a white pale face to be at the center of attention and to say to France, no, we don't want that. You know, we, we want something white. You know, we're not going to accept that. Um, you know, and it's a beautiful sculpture, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, um, statue of this woman. And, you know, no one talks about this. No one talks about our history and what this means to us. We are to remember our ancestors. We are to remember who we are and tap back into the power that we had in the beginning by going back to our practices and leaving these westernized nations and European nations alone because they don't mean us any good. We need to start loving each other, um, unifying against this beast. That is the only way that we are going to be successful and crushing this white supremacy system. But I wanted individuals to learn more about the uh, awesome uh, Caliphians of California. Definitely do your research on them. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful story and history of the Moors, of us as a people and how we thrived before the European even arrived, okay? They, you know, our ancestors, they lived in peace and harmony before these people showed up. Peace and harmony for thousands of years before they even showed up, before the Spaniards showed up, before the French showed up, before the English showed up, we were in peace and harmony by ourselves, amongst ourselves. And, you know, this is what we have today. But during the time of, uh, from the 1300s all the way down to the 18, uh, 18, 15, 1850s, um, after the gold rush period in California, uh, where they've gone in and took out the, the jewels, took out the gold, and a lot of the Caliphians stood their ground during that time and fought off these white, demonic European people from taking over their land. But unfortunately, you know, they lost. Sister, um, the European can't be that damn bad if you got a European wig on your head. I'm just saying. I ain't trying to shit on you, but it's there for everybody to see. The helmet of European salvation is right there. But all jokes aside, what did we learn? 
class? Did we learn anything about the Caliphian Empire? Did we learn anything? No, we did not. We learned nothing. All we learned was some more Nigasaw pretendian babble. Focus, pretendians, focus. Even Dane Calloway does this. Y'all gotta focus on one subject and stick to it. All right, y'all are all over the place. At one point, she called herself a damn more. Which one is it? Now, this is what I'm talking about. Is it a more? Is it a Hebrew Israelite? Is it a Caliphian? What is it? Turtle Islander? What the hell is it? And that's all I have to say about this. You know, like and subscribe. And hey, if you if you understand what she's saying, if you know the answers, if you can break it down to me, because I didn't I didn't learn anything new about the Caliphians. Please inform us. Inform everybody who the Caliphians are. And until next time, like and subscribe and holla. Oh.